boys and girls and everyone else we are back with another diablo immortal video in this one we are jumping straight into the patch notes that just came out a uh, yesterday so let's get straight to it that's the right screen let's go 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 all right so we have a new battle pass uh very much a what eastern theme which i'm assuming based off previous eastern themed skins this is not going to be well received on behalf of the diablo community personally i think it'll look sick for the tempest this is like very tempest e but let's see what they say <sighs> okay um blah blah uh, cosmetic quality life feature all right let's see it'll talk about the battle pass down here okay so this is actually the preview for it let's watch that hold on i don't know how loud that's gonna be let's make it Yuck. all right here we go okay yep definitely eastern themed Monk, no one uses it. DH looks awful. Oh, I don't like that DH one at all. All right, I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, it's okay. It's a battle pass skin. Uh, it looked way cooler up here than it did in game. Um, but I I think that some people will appreciate it. I'm not one of those people. All right, so this update will happen. Uh, I'm sorry. The uh. Season Battle Pass will start on July 4th. Hey! <laughs> uh, but the update will happen on June 26th, which is tomorrow. All right, server merges. We've been talking about the server merges for a while now. That'll happen on June 26th. Um, I actually have a whole dedicated video talking about server merges, so if you want to watch that, go do so. Um, the new collection gallery feature. So this one, I reread like twice, because I'm going to be honest, I don't get it. So you have armor, weapon, portal, and special effects. So the elites among the are whatever of sanctuary know their gilded glided glided throw. All right, what the hell is it? Place a cutthroat may play in the next mark. All right, you now have the ability to preview the entire range of cosmetics available in the new cosmetic gallery, regardless of whether you own them or not. The cosmetic gallery tracks which cosmetics you own, helping to keep a record of your armors and robes, as well as the collection of other players within your server. Do you ask for this? Hey, did you ask for this? No. Did you ask for this? No. All right. Just checking. Returning events. Fractured plane. Love it. Conqueror. Meh. Wild brawl. Scud. Hungry moon. Okay. Shady stock is yours. Featured update. Now, this is the... It, guys, this is a very small patch, and I'm going to try to cover this as fast as possible with all, without too much ranting. Um, this is the main change here, which we all knew was going to come, uh, which is the two new PvE events that they added. They're basically going to increase the drop rates of runes to truly do what they thought they were going to do, which was make it the main source of getting runes but from either crafting them or just having them drop so um that is their intent so after the update it sounds like that will be the best way of getting runes now we also just unlocked yesterday at least on my server uh the ability of getting the blue runes or the next rarity of runes so it should go what normal and then magic and then rare the legendary, i think i don't know we got the blue ones we had the gray ones now we have the blue and then yellow whatever 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 so um that's basically all that this is saying right there it's a whole lot of words for saying that um, and then they're also making some slight adjustments to the two game modes, making it so the boss now spawns farther away. And then they're um, shortening the distance that you have to escape, essentially. Um, and they're making a quality of life change to how you, I guess, escape it. I've never done this one, like the one where you have to collect chests, because, well, there's no reason to before the drop rates. But anyway, so the Shadow War Management Tool. This is, in my opinion, um, I actually just talked about this on my stream the other day that how difficult it is to be a clan leader in the game because there aren't a lot of tools to help support clan leaders make it easier. And this is a pretty huge tool. So I don't know how it'll be implemented or what it'll look like, of course, but it sounds like this is basically uh, allowing you as a clan leader to manage your shadow wars going into them before they actually start. So, um, you know, usually you have to like maneuver everyone around by the time you get into the shadow war, but now you can actually plan it at any time of the week. So, that feels good. That feels like a really good quality of life improvement there. Battle rank ranges. I don't know about this. Um, I don't have a strong opinion either way. And you guys know that I didn't do a lot of PvP prior to live streaming on Twitch. Shameless plug. I do live stream on Twitch every Sunday, Monday, Wednesday starting at 930. So you should check me out. Link in the description. Follow me. Put the notifications on. We'll live stream together. Sometimes I'm funny. Sometimes you laugh. And I drink a lot. That's basically what happens there. So, um, 
basically, if you get to a certain threshold, i.e. a new rank, so silver, gold, legend, or whatever, you will never go below that. So you'll never have a situation where you reach legend and then lose 30-something games in a row and then go back down to gold. Once you reach legend, you're legend for the season, um, which is, you know, it's, it'll probably result in more people willing to play Battlegrounds or not. I, I mean, I can see this going two different ways. Um, I could see it going where he just like where I, I, he <laughs> I'm reading something about my son. Um, I could see where it goes somewhere in the lines where people get to legend and then stop playing because they like they reached it, the check mark it's done. But then it could also do the opposite where people reach legend and now have no fear of losing it, so they just keep playing battlegrounds for fun. I don't know, but this one I think will be widely accepted by a lot of people as long as it doesn't lead to extended wait times, which is Battlegrounds time extended. So additional two more hours. So from eight to 10 the local server time, making the overall time to play 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. So two more hours on the beginning half, which doesn't have a huge impact for me. Actually it does. By the time I go live on Twitch, that means I could be doing PVP the whole time. So there you go, more PVP. Now this one, I don't, I don't understand. I'm going to be honest. I, I fully don't understand this one. I think it's a good thing. So Phantom Market affects functionality changes. So the title is what makes me confusing. Because if you read it, it says we are including the ability to swap the visual effects on between Phantom Market legendary cosmetics. This includes movement effects, idle effects, and PvP kill effects. Note that this change is only for Phantom Market skins only. My confusion lies with that everything listed there are typically the 30-day effects. You know what I mean? The idle effects, it, it depends on which one it is, but sometimes those are permanent. Sometimes there are 30 days. The PvP kill effect is definitely a 30-day one, and the movement effects is also usually a 30-day one. So is this saying that it is making it permanent so you can switch them on or off? Because it only says effects on. The ability to swap them on. But then you, you could also interpret this that it's only allowing us to use use them within the 30 window on other Phantom Market skins. But but again, it just leads to the same issue that if it's still only for the 30 days, it doesn't feel great. I hope that I'm interpreting this the right way, that it is allowing us to use those, what were temporary all the time, and we can turn them on and off, and that we can use them between different cosmetics. I don't think that's how it's intended, but that's how I want to understand it because that would that is what would make the most sense to me. If they're just giving us the ability of switching them on and off, we already had that. I used to turn off my aura all the time. So unless you're turning it on between different Phantom Market skins, in which case, again, you only have it for 30 days and that just feels like just a, a waste of time. I hope, I don't know. We'll have to see. This could be a break in translation or whatever, but... How it's written is not incredibly clear to me. Let me know if you interpret it differently or if you know something I don't know, and I'll pin the comment if you guys are right or if I think you're right. But anyway, um, Inferno set bonus changes. We've fixed an issue that caused the higher and lower threshold for set item stats in Inferno 1 and higher to be correct. Okay. It's a bug. It's been fixed. That's it, guys. Not a long one. Um, it, if I, somehow I still made this eight minutes by rambling. Uh, but anyway, I think it's obviously it's a smaller uh, update. I like the quality of life changes. I'm not a big fan of the cosmetic. Um, I am... What was the other one? Uh, the rune drop rates is actually exciting. So now we can actually do those two new PvE events and have fun with them hopefully, and get more runes out of it. Of course, we'll be testing that to see how what at what frequency you're getting it. Ideally, you should run one and get at least one rune is in my head how that should work because I'm assuming this is going to be a heck of a grind to get because it's still RNG. But anyway, I digress. That's it for this video, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Until next time, have a good one.